Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 412, and it's brought to you by Drobo, the world's first data storage robot. We're wrapping up GBTV Innovation Week a couple days late. Crazy story. Our friends at RealCooking.tv are making a DVD with crazy bacon recipes, and we're helping because, well, I like bacon. One of the recipes is chicken fried bacon, which is bacon coated in several layers of batter, deep fried and served with country gravy. Chicken fried bacon tastes really, really, really good, but it left us all with what can only be described as bacon hangovers. I'm not sure I'll mention bacon for a while, but robots, I can do that even if my body hasn't forgiven me for bacon abuse. Intel has an annual forum for developers. It happened this past week in San Francisco, and Intel CTO Justin Ratner talked a lot about robotics in his keynote address last Thursday. Intel researchers are building on work coming out of Carnegie Mellon University on something being called CADMS. The word comes from two other words, claytronics and atoms, and it refers to a kind of programmable matter that will allow a pocket-sized mobile computer to transform itself from something like an iPod into a laptop with a keyboard. The whole idea sounds fantastic in the literal sense of the word. I'm not talking about a device that folds into another type of functionality. I'm talking about electronically programmed atoms that will rearrange themselves to form an entirely different device. Some Intel researchers are supporting the big trip via paidbypixels.com, so my goal is to see something that gives these guys an indication that something like this is possible. That may be where we're going tomorrow, but how is research in robotics affecting our lives today? iRobot brings robots into the homes of early adopters in the form of vacuum cleaners and floor scrubbers. Data Robotics incorporates cybernetic into the way Drobo manages data, so you get the equivalent of your own little IT guy standing guard to protect your data. And to get the commercial portion of today's brief out of the way, my promo code Callie will save you $25 at drobostore.com. Robotics research is affecting your life in ways you may not be aware of. For example, if you've purchased a digital camera or camcorder that intelligently focuses on human faces, that functionality has grown out of robotics research. If your car has a sensor that starts beeping to warn you about obstacles behind you, that functionality has grown out of robotics research. Most of us have had robots actively involved in our lives without even being aware, but that doesn't mean that we're rushing to actively bring robots into our homes. Since the Roomba vacuum cleaner was introduced, iRobot has sold two and a half million of them, including one to me. That's a nice number, but it's relatively small. A recent article in the Christian Science Monitor discussed the distinction between how Americans look at robots versus how robots are viewed in Japan. The Japanese perception is positive and optimistic. The American perspective is reticent and skeptical. Kids growing up playing with toys like Pleo are likely to not share the prejudice of their parents. Oh, look at him! Oh my god! Hey! You think they're awesome? <laughs> Hello, Mom. Hello, Mom. Hello, Mom. Hello, Mom. Hello, Mom. Roboticist Aaron Etzinger has the goal of bringing robots to market that, like Drobo, don't require a manual. His project, Domo, is all about building a robot that will adapt to its environment and shelve a variety of objects. Think, clean your kitchen? Here's Domo. Innovation Week has me more excited than ever about the big trip, so let me give you a quick update. We've been advised that the best time to buy a bus or an RV is in October because the summer travel season is over and people decide they don't want to store their rig for the winter. It's not very exciting, but we're basically waiting for October. <laughs> I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks for watching. Man, I wanted to tell everybody.
Lisa Duggan and Billy Mayweather. The American perspective is reticent. I'm sorry. Perspective. <laughs> I did not. Robot sex. I robot sex. What's that <laughs>